Hey, why? Um, you have beautiful hair and then Daddy have a bald hair. <laughs> <laughs> Why is OP roasting me today? All right, you guys, we are at our favorite restaurant right now. What's it called? Wait, Obaria's Brewery. What? Obaria's Brewery. I can't even say it, but it's so damn good, you guys. And it's... What? You're like getting half of my face. <laughs> Why are you... Recording me, recording. There's people watching this. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. So this is our favorite place. We come in here, what, like we once here. every we week. We love, we love eight. Okay. We're at my favorite place. <laughs> We're at my favorite place. This is an Olive Garden she's obsessed with. So we came here. So we came here just to look at airplanes because we're obsessed with aviation and airplanes and everything like that. So we came to see the airplanes and then I'm like, there's a restaurant there. You're gross. Let's go check it out. And since they're, since they're how, how long have we been coming here? Literally almost every week. We found out what? We found this place like three months ago? Yeah. So we come in here once every week. Maybe not for the last month. Uh, we've been here. Yeah. I think we've only been here once a month. No. When we first discovered it, we were here like once a week. Yeah. And then we stopped coming around my birthday, so like a month and a half. No, we came last week. I don't know, but this is so delicious. Yeah, I got the Reuben. Cynthia got, what'd you get? Fire starter, jalapeno. These, oh, it's just so good. And my, my, Maggie got some bomb chicken tenders. And then beer batter fries. And then, Edson, we can't forget about Edson. He has that semi like total comfort. And it's sleep. guys so we're done eating Where's your map? and I can't explain to you how good the food is here no you guys like here's it's incredible here's the thing we can take him off right there yeah so there's not. literally um I'm bringing nobody. back up with the mask and because I'm pregnant and I look like a, a mask but it's okay you uh, good? <laughs> so literally they give you oh <laughs> you, okay? you good Oh, did you did fart? Did you just fart? <laughs> but he's laughing. What is going on right now? Ew, yeah, this is stinky one. He's stinky like poop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so they get... Oh, this is not even... They give you so much food. Look, they, they give you so much food. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because they liked us, because the dude was all in the Star Wars yeah, and acting has the Star blanket. Wars. But this dude, like, we didn't even order onion rings. This dude, like, hooked it up. Like, we had. I think we, we clicked because he's like, Mandalorian on the 30th. I'm like, click. Mom, look. Mom, look. Mom, look. Mom, look. Mom, You're so annoying. Chewbacca? Chewbacca. We literally. Did he get you pregnant or did <laughs> I? You're so annoying. <laughs> that is Chewbacca. She sounds like a seagull. You sound like a seagull Eagle. mixed with a car alarm. All right, um, what were we talking about? <laughs> about him talking about the Mandalorian, and we're like, literally, we set lips on What? <laughs> what guy? <laughs> you want him as your dad? No, 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 we have a guy who looks like a Oh, your friend? He gives her yeah. stuff. The guy that always says how cute you are and how cute your shoes are? Yeah. Yeah. There's this employee here that knows us already and he always gives her like little wood airplanes So she's looking for him for that. Yeah, so he's not here today. today Basically, we were like yes the Mandalorian it's coming out the 30th So we were like yeah the 30th let's not do anything like we do anything anyway Yeah, we're literally <laughs> at the house 24 7 <laughs> um, But I'm so excited because the Mandalorian is coming out baby Yoda baby baby Yoda baby Yoda <laughs> Are you excited, baby Edson Yoda? <laughs> um, <laughs> he made himself cough. I don't know if you guys know, Cynthia got a really good job. 
She works from home, thank God. I started working at, at like where I work at, and then um. <laughs> I started well, working like where I work. Yeah, I don't want to say she worked work. at the company place. I work for a. It's in the healthcare. Uh, Your pharmacy tech, bro. Uh, yeah. No one's gonna find you by no. I don't know. So I'm a pharmacy oh. tech slash um, patient care advocate. So I help out patients with their medications and stuff like that. <laughs> so now I am able to work from home, and it is the <sighs> most amazing job I've ever had, and it's so fun. And <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so excited and. So thankful. I've been working there for three months. So I've been a stay-at-home dad for the past three months because obviously Cynthia's got a really good job. So I can tell you that this is the hardest job I've ever done in my life. And I've done some hard ass shit. Like I've done, I don't know if you guys know, but I've worked at the hotels at Disneyland. Um, well, Grand Californian Hotel. I was in the um, housekeeping department and I started as a houseman. And holy guys, here's me thinking, oh, it's easy. Hell no. It was the hardest job I've ever done in my life. And I tell you, I, I'm going to take that back now because being a stay-at-home dad with Tasmanian Devil right here. Short, short story short. Short story short? Long story short. Whatever. Um, being a stay-at-home dad is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Go get yourself a sugar mama. Ew. <laughs> no, you you guys, buy me does, Pokemon he cards. Does, he does so much for, <laughs> for all of us. If it wasn't for him, I, I would not... I would not trust anybody to take care of my kids more than I trust Josh. Obviously, that's their daddy. Yeah, but we I both, agree. it's so cool because we both work. Well, we both work from home, literally. Yeah. I work from home and on my breaks. Or Maggie literally stays with me all day. Like, all day. And that's now, so, that's been the yeah. last couple weeks. Yeah, the last couple weeks. It's so cute because she'll all walk in there and she's just laying there watching her phone. And I'm just like, okay. And then Edson's just, yeah. Edson chills with me all day. See? So then we just he's saying dad we just chill which makes then, you jealous and then we just he says mama We just chill and it's funny because a lot of people out there no wait I gotta I gotta state this because a lot of people talk shit and say that Stay-at-home dads, you know The men need to have the jobs because the women need to stay at home, which I guess I agree You're with a minority <laughs> <laughs> Um, What was I gonna say? Oh, but like I get I get it like Cynthia needs to be with her kids, but thank God she's working from home So our thing is is that like I honestly after the holidays and everything goes by if yeah. I can find something better Then I'm gonna get the job and honestly, I think if, if not if then, they would tell yeah. me to go back to work from the place I probably will end up like not going back and yeah. Josh will end up They're working for a job. at her place. Um, I can say it right because they don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but they got like was it Four or five cases of COVID. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Cynthia was, was at home like two weeks. No, it was like three weeks. And uh, you only get after to be working from happened. home if you're like oh, sick and smart. Yeah, Cynthia's really good I at what she so does. Cocky, but... but I was just saying, people talk shit, dude, and it pisses me off because it's like, what the hell? Every time I try to say something, you got no shoes in the dirt. You are the definition of a white girl. <laughs> <laughs> my dad would be flippy yeah That's and it's cold here guys but we went to we went to california the past couple weeks super nice we didn't really vlog anything we went to the not halloween yeah, thingy like the taste thing put some clips in. i'll yeah. put a couple clips in. i don't really have anything but i have some cell phone footage i'll throw in what is that what is that got an alien playing a banjo? What the heck? Is it good, Maggie? Yeah, what is it? A graveyard funnel cake with gummy worms? Oh my God, girl. But yeah, as you see, we had a lot of fun. We spent a lot of time with family. Um, and it was super great. It's something that we needed. We actually got comments on our picture saying that people can tell the joy when we're at home with our family. And, honestly, and our faces. That's our goal. To move back to California. Cool thing is that we have so much family in California that we have so much support. And uh, to be honest, it's awesome here, but there's not really no one here that we have or like nothing to do. And we're kind of getting literally irritated with it. But I want to I want to stop you there because oh, nice burp. I want to stop you there because I, it's not that there's nothing to do that we're irritated here. I think it's the fact that we're this isn't this isn't where we're from. Yeah, this isn't home. I still don't feel like it's home, but no. 
but I love my house, so it does in a way. You know what I mean? I'm kind of like, and it's more affordable. And I like here. this. Like I like this. Like they always have fighter jets parked here, and when like we're bored, me and Maggie come I don't here. Know. Yeah, when I'm at work, they come here. But this is like, if you guys like to meditate, I don't know why this brings me the same satisfaction as meditating. Just seeing airplanes, and every time I see a helicopter, I freaking cry because that's how Edson was transported from NICU to NICU. And it's just very, uh, I don't know, I'm just so thankful for aviation and what they, even before Edson. We wanted to oh, yeah. name him Zeppelin because obviously that's like the first form. It was a, a blimp. And then uh, <laughs> we should have been named Zeppelin. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just got it. Yeah. But um, I don't know. This brings me so much peace. I just love it. Maggie, we are planning on putting her in soccer. Yeah. Of all things, I'm not a big soccer guy. But we, her nephew came here for. Um, actually, speaking of soccer, I got a funny clip. A couple in August, we went to California, and I just randomly filmed this, and. Maggie was playing soccer with her cousins, dude. And this is the funniest clip I think I ever have. I'm gonna throw it in right here. All right, you make this goal. You make this, I give you 10 grand. In GTA cash, though. <laughs> well, you don't gotta kill your brother, bro. <laughs> oh. Are you My good? God. I still made the same. You did, so you don't win 10 grand in GTA cash, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Maggie really wants to play soccer, and this kid can run literally for like three hours straight. Really can. Her nephew came here to, for a tournament, and my daughter ran in a circle the entire game. Yeah, baby. What the f*** is floating right there? Oh, what the hell? Can you guys see that on camera? What is that? Bro, is that a ghost, it. homie? It's a little helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> what is oh that? Oh my god, that gave me chills. Can you guys see that on camera? It's like right there. I don't know if what the point. What is that? Is that a helicopter that's really far? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it's that? It's floating very weird. I don't know. Oh, that's weird. What is that, bro? <laughs> All right, well, anyway. Um. It's el cucuy. Um, a lot of you have been asking me how I'm feeling and how I'm doing and they're like you better upload more videos because you can't just leave us like that without letting us know how you're feeling or how you're doing and I am feeling fine. I went to my first doctor's appointment last Wednesday just to a normal pre-checkup. Pre you okay? Yeah, I'm joking. Right, I'm cold. So everything looks normal. The baby, according to my last period, I am basically seven weeks today. Seven weeks, yeah, you Let's are. Let's see. You are, we went last Wednesday. So my due date, according to this, is uh, June 17th. Ooh, but right when it gets see, hot here. Ooh. <laughs> we see the baby for the first time on November 2nd, and that's when his parents are gonna be here. So I feel so excited. I, I have a, I have a long baby <laughs> She's so excited, you guys. She literally, she's like, Mom, I am so happy. She's been thanking God for everything. She's like, thank you, God, for my baby. Thank you, God, for this. And then no, she smiles. She's like, please, God, can I have a Barbie? <laughs> like, random little prayers that are so guys, cute. Guys, I, have, I did, please, God, let me have a, a black baby. <laughs> really did she said she, she, <laughs> okay she's in love with the little black babies because they are so adorable okay so she literally which honestly to as a parent makes me happy yeah because it shows we're not racist yeah. pieces of shits right <laughs> I mean, it's funny. so what maggie what what um you have beautiful hair and then daddy have a bald hair <laughs> Why is Uncle roasting me today? That's rude. But funny. Have smelly feet. <laughs> it's the smelly feet for me. It's, you know, one thing that app. one thing that bugs me is when people make fun of my bald head. So do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you over the fence and put you on an airplane, and they're gonna take you to Paris. Paris. I want to go with you. Paris and California, though, not the other Paris. <laughs> Take you to the ghetto one. <laughs> Wanna go there? It's a dirty feet for me. Make fun of my bald head again. I'm gonna make fun of your <laughs> dirty teeth. Ew, it's a dirty teeth for me. This, this, uh, this uh, apple cut for me. The apple cut? 
Whatever. Did you say my head shaped like an apple? <laughs> Okay, so basically I did develop gestational diabetes with Edson and with Maggie and that's That's the problem that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have gestational diabetes with this baby So basically the doctor said because I am like really high risk especially what happened with Edson that I am going like basically straight to the specialist the pregnantologist uh, to make sure everything goes okay and make sh make sure my diabetes is under control because I did come come up with diabetes so I think I think I'm I'm gonna <laughs> she's so she has like something you I can I I have diabetes it's not something to joke around because it's a very serious not condition all, I know but my Maggie thinks it's funny. It's a very serious condition and I I it's it's horrible to have and I have to start eating a lot more healthier not like I ate tonight you guys but I was craving it once in a while it's okay but I've been eating really healthy oatmeal all this stuff and I'm gonna have to start using insulin again because that's what I did when I had when I was pregnant with that son and trust me I did not want to do that, but it's okay. Anything for this baby that was disgusting. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna have to be poking my belly and putting bruises. Pokemon belly. <laughs> Pokemon belly. Poking my belly, and I had so many bruises last time, but it's okay as long as this baby comes out beautiful and healthy, and hopefully nothing like that happens, like what happened with Maggie and Edson. Bro. Can you stop burping, bro? So we, we do go to the doctor on November 2nd to see our little, our little pebble, our little bean, a little pebble or a little bean. I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be a boy. I feel what like do you a girl. think? A girl? My mom feels like a girl. Um, my aunt that has a, like six cents. I don't know, but she said that I was gonna have a girl, uh, a girl boy, um, girl. So I don't know. We'll see about that because. I don't know, there's like a story about my aunt that she cried in the womb when she was inside her mom's belly. I don't know how they determined that. And I guess when you do that, you have like extra senses. I don't know, but she's, she's not like a, excuse me. She's like a Mexican witch. I'm kidding, she's not. She's so super sweet and I love her so much. So we got stopped at Nantes by a super, super sweet subscriber. Um, I really thought that she was asking me to take a picture of her and her family because we've gotten stopped before but but oh. she was like she was like super super extra sweet um, her name is Leslie I'm gonna show you the picture she was like no I want a picture with you guys and I was like oh with us and then um, I was like bring it in and I was it was really nice because she was so sweet and she keeps writing me and her mom wrote me thanking me <laughs> her mom thanked me for stopping and being so humble and actually being so genu genuine and um, it, I don't know it really means a lot and we were little, literally debating like should we come back and stuff and she found us uh, by Edson's video and that's like extra special so we're like th these are little signs that makes us keep going so yeah we love you guys very much we really appreciate you and we appreciate all the love we got from my pregnancy announcement and too many many more videos so anyway guys thank you so much for watching today's video hopefully you enjoyed it please drop a like comment something nice down below comment that let's let's, let's call cynthia Bun bunuelo hair hashtag bunuelo hair bolillo what's a bunuelo Buñuelo is the ones with sugar, the ones that you love. Exactly. <laughs> My hair's so dirty. Cynthia, when Cynthia wakes up in the morning, she gets a jar of sugar and just dumps it on her head and listens to that song. Pour some sugar on me. Oh, oh that was so cute. I thought you were about to say subscribe and wash my feet. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe in my feet also wash my feet. <laughs> comment down below. Who it is? Who it is? Comment down below. Watch my videos. Goodbye. Face rug, dude. Yeah, she's obsessed with face rug. But see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.